Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa Ulrich here again. Thanks for continuing to the conclusion of our visit to Africa. Well, at the end of our trip, James drove us out of Wangay Park to our next checkpoint, and we were headed back to Johannesburg, where we started our flight back to the United States. Once again, we were on the plane for approximately 16 hours, and we landed in Atlanta. In the airport, this time we walked through corridors that had window displays of things that had been confiscated. Here's a display of some African items. That seemed kind of counterintuitive to me. It seemed like they should have had these displays before people went on their trips. Well, anyway, we took our flight from Atlanta to Chicago and we were back home. And my dog, LJ, was thrilled to see us. We were happy to see him too. We were also happy to be home. But in some ways, even though it felt good to be home, there were many things that we missed about Africa. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Luckily, we have a lot of memories and even some mementos to relive those experiences. Here's some jewelry I brought back from Botswana, a couple of bracelets. You can see that one has a design of elephants linked together, another looks more like an African design. Also from Botswana is a carving of Africa, and inside is also carved what are called the big five, the five animals that one has to see in Africa. So that's elephants, rhinoceros, leopard, lion, and water buffalo. Also on our trip, we had footprints made of the elephants that we had our elephant experience with. So my husband and I each have a footprint from each of our elephants. And those, along with some photos my husband took, make up a wall display in our home. We also brought back a carved statue that we bought in a marketplace in Victoria Falls. And you can see it has some of the big five on there. And here is a Zambezi River Stone sculpture of an African elephant and its baby and we have these two on display in a table on a table at our house my husband also had a giant print made of one of his photos this is one of his zebra photos and this hangs over our sofa in our living room and makes a beautiful display so those are really great mementos we also have great memories of James who we still are in contact with thanks to social media in fact, my husband sent him one of his old cameras, and James has been taking some of his own pictures. James is really a special, unique young man. Not only is he a talented tracker looking at animal markings to predict where we'll see the wildlife, he's a great storyteller. One night when we were sitting around the fire camp, someone was talking about the dangerous mamba snake. And James mentioned that a group came across a mamba snake in a kitchen. And when he was asked what he did, he very calmly responded, we removed it. Well, we all laughed at that. Well, keeping in contact with James and having our mementos to remember Africa along with these photos and videos makes it an everlasting experience for us. We hope you enjoyed this series. Um, please hit the like button and subscribe. Take care.